welcome back to my podcast. I'm Em. Today I'm going to be talking about season two, episode three of All American Homecoming. This episode was titled Me, Myself, and I, and I'm just going to get right into it because I just want to start discussing everything. And before I start, I do want to say if my voice sounds shit, I have a cold. So I'm apologizing in advance for that. I'm drinking water though, so hopefully that gets better. So, I'm just going to start now with the talking about everything. So, like, the opening scene was Simone, you know, studying the tennis match for the opposing team. I don't know why, I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to say. But, so with that thing, that, like, her watching that, I'm happy for her and I'm, like, proud of her for doing that because I want her to improve and I'm happy she's realizing she needs to improve and she needs to, like watch the match of who they're gonna play to know their weaknesses and to make to like like make sure she wins and stuff and so I'm happy she was doing that but then it did a part of it me got upset like it did kind of upset me a bit that um she didn't let some of the other girls like watch it she helped some I mean she let one person or like told one person about it and they studied together but didn't let the rest of the team like okay here's the I get that Tootie's a bitch, like, yeah, she is, I fucking hate her, but, and I hate the rest of the team, or most of them, but they should kind of get together, and they should, she should have talked to them, to, so they could, like, work together, and, like, study together, so they all would know, and so they wouldn't lose, because I think Tootie did lose her match, and, of course, like, Simone and the other, Simone won, because she knew the weaknesses and knew what to do, but they didn't. So it did kind of upset me. Like, again, I said I hate her, but then I want her, like, Simone to kind of let them come in just for that so they can be a team around each, like, around the other teams and band together and win all the matches. And so I get why the coach was kind of upset with Simone about not letting the girls, um, kind of join in with that I do get that but then also I do get like Simone like her not wanting to because they're bitches I get all of that but I do think Simone should have let them come in just so they could work together and be a team and learn all their weaknesses so they all could win so I do get that but then also I'm kind of upset with her but like I get it and I'm proud of Simone for winning I do hate like 2D though so I'm kind of okay with it but then I kind of wish they all worked together but then again I'm okay with it just because like, I hate her and also because I'm living for a Simone Mean Girl era even though it's not gonna last long I'm pretty sure it's like done now I'm mad even like okay I get why people were saying like she's a bitch and stuff and saying how mean she is but I'm kind of living for that. I was enjoying her being a bitch to everyone and, like, being the mean girl. I'm, I am love that. And I love that era. And I'm so mad. It's, like, almost, I think it's already over. And I'm really pissed off about it because I wanted more. I wanted more of it. I just love when um, normally nice characters get turned bitchy and just go in at everyone. I love when that happens. So I hope they do it again. And I hope she does it again. But then I really hope that everyone treats her well and the team like bonds and they get on better terms hopefully they will soon I don't see it happening but I really would like them to because I really just want Simone to be happy and have friends on her team that she's playing with and kind of become a family and I want her and Thea to like work it out so maybe the rest of the team will be okay with her and figure it out of course that did not happen this episode because Thea was not there and I'm really pissed off she wasn't in this episode but it's uh, it's okay so the next thing I want to talk about is Simone and Lando because they I kind of see it I kind of see why people ship them I saw it on Twitter people were talking about how much they ship them and everything and I kind of get it sorry about the noise I kind of get it I do I see it I see the potential and I think they would be really good looking together but I also ship Damon and Simone, so I'm kind of torn. I think next episode will determine it for me, like, tell me, like, okay, who I ship and who I, like, I'll ship both, but who I ship a little bit more, and that will tell me who, like, what sign I'm on, and so I'm really excited for that, but I just liked all those scenes with them together. They have chemistry, I see it, and 
I liked seeing them in class together and like arguing about it. I just like seeing them in class, to be honest. Like, we don't see it often. So I'm happy we're seeing that and seeing them in class, learning, talking about that, having discussions like they would in college. So I'm happy we, we're getting to see more of them in class. I wish All American would do that a bit more, even though All American's not really as much about college as Homecoming, I think. But I would like them to see them more in class. So I hope they do that. And I hope Homecoming does it more and shows more of them in class. I li- so I like them arguing about it. That's when I kind of saw it, the potential and everything. And I liked how she didn't know that was Lando. And so that was just her arguing about like what she thought. And it wasn't because it was Lando. And we know like Damon hates Lando. And you could tell she, like, realized when it was Lando, and she was like, oh, fuck, like, that was him. She's like, oh, fuck, and, you know, I'm kind of living for it. I love them, and they were literally, like, starred over at the end. I I liked it, but then again, I also hated how he kind of said something to her to kind of make her nicer or something, or talking to her about being bitch. I think she said that. Maybe it wasn't him, but I think he said that. I'm not 100% sure, though. If he did, I'm kind of mad because I don't want her to stay but she for like at least a few more episodes. I hated how it was one. Her Mean Girl era lasted one damn episode. I'm kind of pissed off about that, but it's okay. I think it will come back eventually, hopefully, or she just has her moment. I just hope we get some of her Mean Girl, like her being a Mean Girl sometime in the episodes. I really hope, but I don't think that will happen. I just, I hope it does. I really hope it does. I I don't know it's like kind of stressing me out to think about but you know it's okay we'll figure it out and she'll hopefully figure it out and get on better terms with everyone but that probably will not happen for a bit but I did like how Simone stood up for Amara uh against that person that random ass guy I don't remember his name so he's Nathaniel's boyfriend now or ex-boyfriend now boyfriend which I want to see more of that and like the the backstory a little bit more of why Keisha hates him so much because like I mean Keisha probably has her reasons and from what I've heard like it sounds off he sounds like awful and he's like making it so they can't have family dinner anymore which upsets me a lot because I really did enjoy that whole thing and so I'm really hoping that they figure it out or not figure it out not they we kind of like get more of him and figuring out who he is because I want to see like what happened and why Keisha hates him we kind of like understood it she we kind of got a little bit of it but then I want to know why Nate's back with him if he treated her so badly so I don't know I'm really intrigued to see like more of that I was happy when I saw Nate kissing someone and like being with someone but the fact that it's her ex and he was a dick not really looking promising for me I'm really upset because I want her to be happy I just want Nate to be happy that's all I want and I want to see her in a relationship but not with him hopefully JR maybe that would be kind of cute I, I kind of want that but I don't think that's gonna ever happen but you know but with JR of course, we saw him in his hoe era or whatever that was called. I don't even know. But we saw him with his ex, like, talking to her and stuff. And, like, we found out that they broke up because... Well, he broke up with her because they thought... He thought she was cheating. But she got raped. And, like, that whole thing, like, if I'm talking about, broke my heart. And I literally wanted to cry because the fact that people have to deal with that is just so heartbreaking to me. And I'm happy that they're talking about this in the show and just talking about that whole situation because Thea, like, he tried to get with Thea or that guy. I don't know what his name was, but the fact that they brought that up, like, that was brought up in season one and then this is being brought up. I'm happy they're, like, talking about it, but it just breaks my heart. I don't know if they brought this up before. Maybe they did. I just don't remember. But... I'm just so happy they're just talking about it. It's just such an important thing for people like to talk about so people know like it's still happening. I think ev- people know it's still happening, but I'm happy they bring it up in shows to discuss the issues with it. It's just, it's just so heartbreaking. So I'm like really happy Homecoming is like doing that and discussing that and talking about it a bit. So I'm really happy they did that. But I kind of want JR and her to get back together they seem kind of cute but of course if she doesn't want to like I'm gonna respect that if she's not ready and she doesn't want to it's like fine 
but I hate it how she said it was closure, and that reminds me of, um, or whatever was closure, of Spolivia, with their closure thing, that just pissed me off, because I'm still, like, pissed off about their closure situation, because it's not closure, Spolivia will be back together very soon, but it just reminded me of that, and it pissed me off, but you know, it's fine. I just, I want JR to be in a relationship. I think that would be really cute to see JR in a relationship because he said he was a relationship guy. So I'm kind of hoping we see that more. And we like saw a lot of girls like congratulating him and kind of flirting with him, like because of the game or whatever, or something they did. I'm not, I forgot what it was, but so I'm excited. I really hope we see JR with a girlfriend soon. I would like to be with Nate or Thea I do kind I really do ship JR and Thea for some reason and I kind of want kind of like Nate and JR for some reason too just from I that one scene I saw I thought they would be cute so I hope we get that I don't know I just want him to be with someone and it would be cute if it was one of the like the lead one of the leads or not leads like one of the series regulars I think that would be kind of cool to see like a new relationship with that because I mean I kind of like Damon and Thea. Like, they're not bad. I don't hate them, but I don't like them. Like, they're fine. And Thea seems happy, so it's okay. But I kind of want them to break up so JR and Thea can get together and Damon and Simone can get together. Or Orlando and Simone. I don't care. Honestly, I haven't decided who I ship more yet, so I will keep you guys updated on that. But with ships, we have Keisha and Cam in their whole thing, which I love them. I really do like them. I like them a lot more in season one, to be honest. I still like them a lot, but season one, I like them a lot more than I do now. I don't know why. I just do. And I'm trying to figure out why. I just think that them hooking up in like, their relationship at the beginning was just so cute because we never seen Cam like that. But now they're kind of having some sort of issues. They're not as much. They're not having as many issues now that they did in like the first episode and during all the all american season five premiere they're kind of working through that and they're a lot better now but i did like them a bit more in season one which i'm not sure because they weren't even like together they were just hooking up so i found it a little weird but it's okay they're so cute i really do like them still and i like how they're supporting each other and it's really cute that she's doing dance and he's doing music i don't know why i just find that so cute but with the, like them we saw cam's dad came and he like blamed on the music thing on um Keisha because she's a dancer. And that just pissed me off because like in a healthy relationship, they shouldn't they what they want their dreams shouldn't change because of the person. I I think. I mean, I have never been in a relationship, so I'm probably not the best, best person to say this. But that's what I think that's what like that's what a healthy relationship is you shouldn't change your dream because of what they're doing and it will like fit more so I think I don't even know if that made sense but the fact that he said it was because of Keisha pissed me off because Cam is passionate about singing and I'm happy he found something because he lost his football scholarship so I'm happy he's doing something else and so I'm happy to see that but it just upset me that he blamed it on Keisha I'm happy, though, like, that Cam's dad, I don't know his name, so I'm going to refer to him as Cam's dad this whole time, but I'm happy he went to the game and saw him sing, and he's good now. Like, he was happy, or not, maybe not happy, but he, he saw it and saw, oh, it's like, okay, he's good, like, he'll be fine. So I'm happy he saw that, and it's being supportive, maybe, but that whole dinner, it was, like, the dinner scene with them was pissed me off because that's when he did blame Keisha for it and he didn't sh- Keisha didn't show up but I'm happy his Keisha's dad did because he didn't like him at first I'm pretty sure if if I'm wrong please tell me but I'm pretty sure that he didn't like Keisha at first and I mean not Keisha Cam at first when they were like hooking up and everything so I'm happy that they're on better terms now and like he was there to help him and be supportive and he told Keisha that the dad came and so he, Cam knows and so I'm happy Cam's able to pursue music and I'm hoping his parents are going to be supportive moving forward I really hope I just want Cam to be happy and I'm kind of excited to see him in musical theater I hope we see more of that I don't know why it's just I love musical theater I don't do it but like I'm not I'm not I don't do it I'm not a part of it 
but I always love like seeing like all that on on like shows and stuff so I really hope we see that in the class I don't think we will but I hope we do and so I'm really excited to see that and then also I love that we're seeing Keisha in dance class and everything like that I'm really really happy about that because I I said this in the last episode for homecoming but I used to dance so like it holds a special place in my heart even though I don't do it anymore and I'm not planning on doing it anytime soon or like I'm not planning on doing it probably ever again it still holds a special place in my heart so like I always love seeing that in shows and seeing Keisha pursue it makes me happy and seeing her in the classes makes me happy as well but of course she needs improvement like the um the coach said or the teacher said and so I'm happy that she's working on it and I'm just so happy the teacher gave her a chance last episode to like prove herself and become not become but be be a part of the class and she's like helping her and trying to get her to be the best she can be because of course I said this last episode or it was brought up last episode that she was self-taught and so I'm happy that even though she was self-taught, the teacher is giving her a chance and trying to help her and trying to get her to be the best she can be. Of course, she needs improvement, like the teacher said, so I'm happy that the teacher's like telling her what she needs to improve and get like making her do it then and try to get it there and just try to, like, um, I'm trying to think of a good word for this, trying to like, nail it, I guess, I don't know. But I think she will improve, like, eat like during each episode I hope we still keep seeing more of her dancing because it just makes me so happy to see that and I don't know I'm just really excited about that storyline just her dancing because I love it so much I'm also with storylines I'm really enjoying Damon's like I well I did I was last episode I don't know this episode was pretty good with Damon I like I'm happy he's back But then, of course, Jesse was being a bitch this whole episode, um, so I did not appreciate that. I get, like, Jesse's, like, upset about everything, and, or, Damon's also upset that Lando was gonna get the first, um, pitching, like, the, pitch the opener, that's what it's called. He was gonna, they were giving, they were gonna let Lando do that. I get Damon's mad because of that, but he did decide to leave the team and then decided to come back. So I kind of get why they, Jesse did that. But then again, I hate Jesse so much, and I hated how at the end of the episode he was asking Marcus if um, he, like what Damon's like, and he wants to get to know his son. That just upset me even more because I, where was this like a few episodes ago or an episode ago? You did not give a shit. You just you were worried about the team not your son and the fact that he wants to know that and like asking about it just pisses me off so much like I don't get why he wants like I okay no I get it but he was like against him last few episodes and he's like oh can you tell me about him to Marcus because he saw how Marcus and Damon were together and they kind of acted like not close but he acted kind of like a father figure to him and so, like, part of me is kind of happy Marcus, not Marcus, Jesse asked, just so we can see more of them, and maybe they can have a relationship, but then again, it pissed me off so much, because I just hate Jesse, but I'm happy that Damon got, is gonna open the, pitch the opening, I cannot talk, I'm happy he got the chance, they did the pitch off to see, and Damon was better, I think, I'm guessing, because he got it, I don't, didn't know from watching that, because I know, I don't know a lot of things about baseball so I'm happy we got to see that and he got it because I mean Lando is good I will say that but Damon deserves it because he's been on the team longer even though he was gonna leave he was gonna transfer to the other school he came back even though I mean that might mean Lando Lando deserves it but I don't know I'm just happy Damon got it because he's been on the team for a bit it hasn't even been a year but he's been on the team longer than Lando so I'm happy that he got the chance to do that and I'm kind of living for the Damon and Lando drama even though I think they're better now I think at the end of the episode they kind of redeemed like not redeemed but like talked it over I think I might be completely wrong I don't remember but I liked that I like the drama I kind of am here for it because I know next episode or not next episode I saw part of the trailer for episode six, and so I know that I think 
or not I don't know this but I think David's gonna get jealous of Lando and like Simone of like them talking so I'm kind of here for that as well I'm just really kind of I always like a little bit of rival I can't talk oh my gosh like why can I not talk right now rivalry rivalry yeah I always like that in shows especially with sports just because it kind of creates drama and I'm always here for it so I'm kind of looking forward to it I'm really excited I don't know why but I also love like the JR and Lando scenes together how they were talking and everything because you know I love JR I really do and I think like I want him to be friends or he has friends but talk to like more people on the team I want to see him have more not more scenes with people on the team because I don't think we have got many maybe we have I just don't remember but I want him to be like really good friends with Lando I feel like that would be kind of interesting because I like how he told Lando that um that JR and Damon are brothers and stuff and he was like oh shit like wow you know and I always like I always like people's reaction to that he was like what the fuck like I I don't know I just really like Lando and well right now I do and I, like, want him to have relationships with other people. Not relationships, but be fr- become friends with people and kind of redeem himself from being a bitch kind of earlier. I kind of want him to become friends with Keisha because I just feel like that, that would be kind of interesting. But then again, I don't know because Cam might get jealous because Lando is a very attractive man. So I'm not sure. And with baseball, I do want to talk about quickly the Marcus and, um, what's his name? Why can't I think of his name? Jesse. That whole thing of, like, them arguing about how Marcus is the assistant coach and not, like, the main, like, not the main coach, but, like, the, I don't know what, the official coach, the lead coach, I don't know. I don't know how to word that right and say that, but I get why Jesse's upset, but I also get why Marcus is upset as well, because Marcus was the coach, for a while like not the assistant coach he was the coach for a bit or not a bit for a while and he knows what it's like and he also knows the team really well because he's been a coach for them longer than Jesse so I get why Marcus is upset like I think Jesse should listen to Marcus a bit not a bit should listen to him because he knows what he's talking about he not only it was the coach he was he was kind of like not a father figure but he knew like about them and like not I don't even know if this makes sense but he like knows a lot about them and knows weaknesses and everything I'm guessing so I think he should just take it just just take advice from Marcus but then again I'm not really sure I don't know I'm just trying to figure it out I really hope Marcus becomes the coach again soon I mean maybe by the end of the season I think he will by the end of the season at least but I really hope that in it's soon rather sooner rather than later that's my thing I would like them to him to be the coach again because I hate Jesse and I'm ha- like okay I did say like I was it annoyed me that he wants to know more about Damon but then again it kind of makes me happy just because um he Damon deserves the, to not his coat I don't know why I cannot talk right now Damon um oh my gosh what the fuck Jesse is not only Damon's coach he's his dad so he does serves to know more and I also want him to know more maybe because so hold stop being a bitch to him but then also I was happy that Damon wanted to wants to know more about his family or not know more wants to talk to them and so that makes me happy that he's kind of like opening up and wanting to talk to them about everything even if he didn't like I get why he didn't at first like it's like a completely understandable like that was a kind of a shitty situation and they he was getting lied to most like his whole life so I get it, but then again, I'm happy that he wanted to talk to them and everything. I don't know. I'm really excited for, um, like, him, seeing him talk to them and, like, exploring that storyline because I kind of did enjoy that storyline when we were trying to figure out if they were brothers or not, and we thought Damon was related to Simone and then a lot of, and then JR again. So I'm, I liked that thing, so I'm really excited for that. Yeah, I'm just really excited to see what, like, comes with that whole situation. But you know what I'm not excited for is the fact we're not getting family dinner anymore. I did bring that up earlier, but I do want to talk about that a little bit more. Because that was kind of a, like, a dramatic last, um, 
di- family dinner because we got like um Nate telling Keisha that they're back together and then like that whole situation and Nate doesn't believe that that guy her boyfriend uh, did that and was the reason or posted that on yard yak but of course he did obviously like who else would do that so it pisses me off that that was how their last family dinner ended and but like okay here's the thing i get where they're coming from like it's kind of weird like not that the um because simone is amara's niece like that's completely like understandable why she would be having dinner but i get what they're saying about her friends and other like students at the school are having it because they're friends with simone i get that so i kind of get why it's an issue i've been thinking this for a while like what about the other students so that might be it so i kind of get it i'm happy lando was there though for the last dinner and i'm happy someone invited him but that was kind of like a dramatic last dinner and i'm really sad it's the end because i always did enjoy them even though i get what they were talking about like why it's weird i'm sad that was the last one and also i'm sad that theo wasn't there for the last one like damn i really wish she was like, i missed her so much like i absolutely adore thea and i'm mad she wasn't there because i want to see more of like her and um and see how she's doing with her injury and everything but yeah i don't know it bothers me so damn much that she wasn't there for the last family dinner but you know what else with amara the fact that she's dating keisha's dad is insane to me because well, I don't think I don't think anyone saw that coming. Maybe they did. I'm just an idiot and wasn't didn't know. But I was so caught off guard when I saw that because I remember Amara and Marcus. I'm pretty sure were like a thing, or they were a thing and then they weren't. I'm just so confused. Like that threw me off so damn much. I was like, what the fuck? I'm s- I, that 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 was weird. I don't know. But you know, I mean, as long as Amara's happy, I'm okay. And now that like he's not the principal anymore he seems a lot more chill like he's really seems like a nice guy now i think he always was but i'm happy he's supportive of keisha's dance dancing dream and like her switching major majors and then all of that and he was helping cam and everything i really did appreciate that that he's like a lot nicer now So, I mean, if he's going to be like that, I'm perfectly fine with Amara and him dating. It just kind of threw me off because I thought her and Marcus were going to, like, be a thing this season. Not that. I just didn't see it coming. And when they kissed, it threw me off so much. I was like, what the fuck? Like, honestly, I'm not against it. Especially now that, like, we saw he's a lot better now. Or not a lot better, but, like, a lot nicer and more chill. I'm, like, totally okay with it. But, like, at first, I was like, damn, you know? I don't know. It just it just threw me off guard so much, and I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. I'm okay with it for now, but I think later I might be against it. I don't know. So the next thing I want to talk about is Damone and all that, because they had some cute scenes this episode, and that's why I'm kind of happy Theo wasn't there, but then also just for them to have cute scenes. But then again, I love Thea, so I wanted her. I was upset too. But I'm happy they talked about it and he talked to her about how she she is a natural leader and a better person and like so she doesn't need to like do the mean girl thing. Even though of course I did say I love mean girl Simone. I'm happy he said that to her. And I just love all their scenes together. It just makes me so happy. Just cause I really do ship them. But then I'm also conflicted, so I don't know. I just always like how they have scenes together, even though that she not she um damon is with thea i always like that they have scenes together and i hope they get to get i hope they at least hook up at least once before the series season ends because i said this but probably this season might be the last so i hope they hook up at least once i hope but i always like that they're i like that they're still friends even though thea and him are together i'm happy they're friends and they're talking and it just makes me so happy so i'm excited about that and then the last thing i do want to talk about with this episode was the fact that jr is an engineer is insane to me like i got i was so confused when they said that because we don't know well yeah maybe we did he that was brought up but i didn't know what he was like his scholarship was for baseball but i'm guessing but i didn't know that's what he was going into or like his major that's what's called major i was so 
like caught off guard when they said that i was like what the fuck like it makes sense i mean like go for good for him like i'm so proud of him but i'm always like so like i'm always like shocked when i hear like what the guy's majors are because not just cam but with spencer i think we found out what his was i don't remember what it was what it is but we don't know i don't think we know what jordan's is or anything i don't think so but i'm happy we know that like it makes i'm happy for him i hope he <laughs> I hope he enjoys it. I mean, I don't know anything about, like, engineering, to be honest. Like, I know some stuff, but not a lot, so I don't know what it's like. But I'm happy we're, like, learning what their majors are, even though they have a scholarship for, like, a sport or something. We're learning what they're, like, majoring in. So I like that a lot. And then now I'm going to talk about theories for next episode, episode four, which I do know what happens in episode four, or at least one thing with like the Simone and Lando thing. I'm not gonna say it just in case people haven't seen it yet, but um, yeah, I know just about them, and I know Thea's back. I don't know what else. I I've said this last episode, but Damon and Simone are gonna hook up at least once before the show ends, or season ends at least. And I think Thea and Damon are gonna break up, kind of soon. I think Jr. and his ex are gonna get back together. I think Keisha and Cam are going to break up before the season ends. I feel bad for saying that. Like, I really don't want that to happen. But I feel like it might. And then Nate. I think Nate and Keisha are going to have an argument about the guy that Nate's dating. I really hope that doesn't happen because I absolutely adore their friendship. But I, part of me thinks it might. I really hope it doesn't, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of concerned about this whole situation. But, you know, I haven't seen the promo, though, for next episode i think i might have i just don't remember it so that's kind of all my theories just because i don't know but yeah that's the end of this episode thank you guys so much for listening sorry this was kind of like a chaotic mess i'm so stressed out right now about things and i don't feel well and also i watched this episode a few days ago i usually do it right after i watch it or like the day after so it's like not so it's fresh in my mind but i didn't do it this time because i didn't have time so sorry if this was like really messy i'm working on that i'm like so fucking sorry but i will be caught up probably soon i think i don't know if i said this maybe i did at the beginning i don't remember but i'll be caught up for sure when the for sure i don't know why i keep saying that but i'll be caught up when um for, when the mid-season come premiere comes back oh my gosh i can't talk i'm so fucking sorry this is so much such a mess i'm trying to think of the right thing to say because i'm really tired um when it returns in january i'll for sure be caught up by then i'm hoping i'll be caught up by the mid-season finale so i can do that live but i'm not 100 percent sure if i will be actually no i think i will be i think i can get caught up by then maybe i'm not 100 percent sure though but yeah, again, thank you guys so much for listening, um, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!